it's a new week, so it's a new TBR game. Woo! <laughs> okay, so each week, even if I've got like some books that I'm in the middle of, I'm just going to put them aside to finish off reading in June. June is going to be like a mop-up month for me, so we're going to forget last week and start afresh this week. So there's going to be three new books on my TBR this week. And the fun TBR game this week um, is that I got my boyfriend to pick three books from my TBR for me to read. Um, and I asked him to put them in this cute little box, so I don't know what they are, and I get to unbox it and find out what he picked. So there is at least one book I think I know will be in here, and that is Death Note Volume, whichever volume I have. Um, and that's because he bought it for me for Christmas and I haven't read it yet, uh, so I have a funny feeling that one's going to be in here. I've also avoided looking at my TBR because I would probably work out where there are gaps um, and what's in this. Um, but yes, let's open up and have a look and hope that he's been nice to me and not like super mean. <laughs> oh, oh, yay. Oh, that's going to be super excited. Okay, so the first book he's picked is The Colour Purple by Alice Walker, which uh, was a gift. Um, from Rosie from Sparkles Books for my birthday and this one is written in note format so I'm hoping I can actually get through this one quickly it's one I'm really excited about one that I haven't I've been meaning to read for a really long time I'm really intrigued to find out why he picked this one for me um, but yay I'm just so excited because like it's a new book and I love it when because sometimes you buy new books but you feel bad so then you end up like reading books that have been on your TBR for ages and then the new ones that you're excited about kind of get left to the wayside and that excitement kind of like dies down a little bit so it's so exciting to get someone else to pick what you're going to read <laughs> also I love that it like matches my jumper we love that so yes very very excited about this one and the next one <laughs> is Death Note because I thought it would be so let's I haven't seen what's underneath this so we have got Death Note volume 5 which has got or book 5 and it's got volumes 9 and 10 in it and I do believe after this one I've only got one more left to read and I'm actually really excited that he's picked this because obviously it's a graphic novel or it's manga so I can speed through this one quickly so yay for that and the last one Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so the last one he's picked for me is White Rage by Carol Anderson as he also bought me this one for Christmas and I haven't got round to reading it yet. I'm really excited to get to this one because it focuses mainly on racism in America and like injustice in America. Um, and I don't know a lot about that. Obviously being British, I normally tend towards the uh, racism books um, centered around British culture and Britain and the UK and England um, and all of that stuff. So I am, of course, very intrigued about getting to this one. Um, and it says here, the unspoken truth of our racial divide. Um, and there's a reason why I put it on my wish list. There's a reason why I wanted to read it. Um, so for that reason, I cannot wait to get round to it. And I think I might listen to this one on audiobook. So again, another great pick by my boyfriend. So I've got like a uh, a smallish book that's written in letter format, which I can hopefully get through quite quickly, um, a manga and an audiobook. So yay for doing loads of reading this week. Woohoo! So there is my cute little pile of books for this week that I'm just very excited about. Um, there was also the reading challenge for this week. Um, I haven't actually pinned out a specific one for each week. I've just decided after I see my TBR which reading challenge I'm going to do to make it that little bit easier for myself. Um, so this week's reading challenge is to listen to an audiobook. Because like I've already said, I'm going to be listening to White Rage um, via audiobook. So that works out very well as it was one of my like month's reading challenges. Um, but yes, I'm just so excited about this week's book. So today is a very exciting day because it's Saturday. <laughs> And I haven't filmed anything for this vlog because I've been super tired this week, but we're just going to skip past that and I'm going to do a reading update when I get back from my really exciting day. Um, but yes, it's Saturday um, and I am going to go on a little train journey somewhere uh, to meet someone for the first time. Someone very special. So you're going to see a bit later who that is. Uh, but by the time this goes up, you probably already know. 
<laughs> uh, but yes, I'm very, very excited, obviously. And while I wait for my Uber to go to the train station, I may as well do a reading update with you guys. Um, so I am currently reading The Colour Purple. This is probably the only book, if I even finish it this week, that I do finish, just because, like I said, I've been exhausted this week um, and too exhausted to even read, um, which is a shame because I've been really enjoying this, but it's been the perfect book to be reading while I've been exhausted because I will literally pick up and read a couple of pages because it's just so easy to like take in and because it's written in letters it's not like you know you're not following the story it, yeah it's just the perfect book to pick up when when you just want to read a couple of pages um, but I am on page 62 and I'm very impressed with reading that much with how like tired I have been um, so I'm like almost a quarter of the way through it or maybe about a third of the way through it um, but yes, really enjoying it. I'm going to be reading it on the train and hopefully when I get back have a nice chill evening to just read and I will be reading this as well tomorrow for the reading sprints. So I would love to finish this this week. Um, yes, so very exciting. And I think my favourite thing about this is that it matches my jumper that I just wear all the time now. Like, we match. It's cute. <laughs> buy half of these i know so, <laughs> so we just did this um for like shah's channel but we're doing it for my vlog as well uh basically showing you all of the books that we bought because we bought a lot of books <laughs> um obviously so yeah shah's my assistant she's holding my books for me because i'm holding the camera um so i'm just going to quickly go through what i got and i don't remember half of them so <laughs> yay <laughs> thank you so we obviously went to waterstones um and i got on connection um, because I'm getting into like spiritual stuff and in this one sounds like it's sort of to do with spiritualism um, but to do with like creativity and stuff um, and I really like that so I have no idea what this is about but I was interested and I want to read it so there's that one and it's pretty and hardback this is also Waterstones wasn't it yes and then I also saw this really pretty pretty edition of Dante's Inferno um, and I didn't realize it was an epic poem um, it was in the poetry, I feel like uh, bad because I'm holding it in front of your face. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't realise it was an epic poem, so I couldn't not buy it because it's so pretty. So there's that one. These two are from the charity shop. Cool. Yeah, we went into an Oxfam charity shop and I got Kenzuki's Kingdom by Michael Mopergo, which we read in school and I loved it. And I don't have this and I want to like reread it because as you know, I love his books. So there's that one. And I feel less bad because it's a, like a children's book that I can read quickly. Um, and then I also got a really random buy, uh, which is the Cider House Rules, but the screenplay, because my mum said that the book's really good, but she always says that about massive books and there's a train. <laughs> there's a train. There's a train. <laughs> no, you got more than me. No! <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I, I bought this because I thought if I read the screenplay at least I will understand what it is and my mum won't keep pestering me about reading the book. Um, and I want to read more screenplays so I thought that was cool. And they were cheap, so. Thank you. Are you doing it in order? That's cute. Not really, oh. but... And then these next three books 
uh, we got in the Eagle Bookshop, which is like a second-hand bookshop, um, and I got another copy of Hamlet. Because you need it. Obviously, I want to reread it and just like annotate it, and I didn't want to do that with my nice one. So this one makes me feel less bad because I've already read this one. So, yay. And then I also got Ali Smith, um, the accidental, because I want to get into Ali Smith, because I feel like I will like her, but I don't know where to start. And I think Sylvie said this one, and again, it was really cheap, and it looks like a new hard, like, new paperback. It doesn't look like it's used. Um, so, again, not entirely sure what this is about, but excited. <laughs> <laughs> Moral of the day. Yes. Um, quote of the day. And then this one was like, Shaw made me buy it. It was only 50p, but it was like, a, I really enjoyed this and I think you will like it, so you should buy it. I don't necessarily think you'll like it, I just wanted you to read it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, but it's um, Affinity by Sarah Waters, and this is the one that's set in a women's prison. And um, I was interested actually when Shaw explained the synopsis of this when she read it a while ago. Um, and it's the first time I've seen it in paperback. So, and it was 50p. So, yay! <laughs> and then there's only two more left. Only two more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we went into the works and they had The Illustrated Mom by Jacqueline Wilson, which I haven't read. Um, and obviously, Shah said she might be picking it, maybe at some point, um, for the Bopi... Books about Bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> Book club. Book club. And I haven't, like I've already said, I haven't read this one. Um, but I feel drawn to this one for like Jacqueline Wilson books. And it was two pound. So cheap yay <laughs> and the last one and the last one i'm really excited about because i've been waiting for this to come out in paperback for ages and we went into this really cute like comic book store and they also had books and i saw this and i was like oh my god it's in paperback um and that is the harpy by megan hunter charles train is coming so that's why it cut out but i'm gonna do a separate book haul anyway so it's fine <laughs> yeah so I just thought I would drop in to wrap up this week's reading vlog. <clears throat> Obviously it hasn't been a very big reading reading vlog because you literally just saw me pick my um, TBR or do my TBR game, um, or my boyfriend picking my books, me not reading anything, me meeting Shah and then me just giving you updates on the fact that I had been reading this um, throughout the week and that's it um, but I didn't actually finish it in time for the end of the week um, I got to page 188 so I've got like just over 70 pages left um, and I didn't really want to rush it and finish it so I think I'm gonna um, go slow with the last 70 pages and maybe like I have been this week just pick up and reading um, a couple of pages uh, for this week or next week or whenever so I will finish it hopefully this month but like I said I didn't want to rush it so yes I didn't even finish a book this week but um, I'm really glad I did get around to reading this because I have really been enjoying it so all in all it has been successful and of course we had a great day on Saturday me and Shah together and I got home and I, oh, I was on the train and I was like it was just such a good day we were just so happy the entire time um, it was meant to like rain all day and it didn't. Uh, we did a lot of book buying. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was just so lovely and like obviously long awaited. Um, and it was one of those things where I think we were both worried like, is it going to be awkward? Because, you know, we're really close, but we've never actually met in person. And it wasn't like that at all. It, it was just so natural and just so, so awesome. And I can't wait to do it again. Um, so yeah, that's it for this week's vlog and I'll see you again soon. Bye!